Mastering the future continuous. Expressing likes with, will be liking. Hello everyone, and welcome to our new episode. Today we're going to be diving deep into a fascinating topic. Expressing likes in the future continuous tense. Specifically, we're going to focus on using the phrase, will be liking, as a means to express future preferences. So, buckle up and let's get started. The future continuous tense is used to describe an action that will be ongoing at a specific time in the future. The structure is typically subject plus will be plus verb ing. For example, I will be eating dinner at 7 p.m. tomorrow. In our specific case, we will be using the verb like in its ing form liking. Using will be liking can feel a bit strange to native English speakers as we usually express likes in a more definite sense using the present simple tense like, I like. But in some contexts, will be liking, can be used to express an anticipated liking or preference that is temporal or context specific. It might not be common, but it's useful to understand and recognize. Let's look at an example. They will be liking the new features of the software once they see the presentation. In this sentence, the speaker anticipates that they will have a preference, liking, for the new features once they are demonstrated. To solidify our understanding, let's practice with some sentences. 1. I think you will be liking the dessert I am making for the party. 2. She will be liking the gift once she opens it. 3. We will be liking the weather in Hawaii when we visit next week. Notice how in each of these examples, the liking is not a general preference, but something expected to occur in a specific future context. And that's it for today. We hope you found this dive into, will be liking, in the future continuous tense helpful. Remember, language is a vast ocean and there are always new things to explore. So keep practicing, keep learning, and we'll catch you in the next video. Until then, happy learning!